And if I pull down on the touchpad, then I can turn it off. Okay. You can start looking around. And if you highlight the cupboard, it's just with a single click, you can open the door. So that's like a sort of technology for having a hand in the world that you don't actually see. And it's a little bit reminiscent perhaps of having like a mouse on a PC game. So. And the thing is, the touchpad is very, very active, so very quickly you, get a, you, you really get a hang of it. Um, if you see a small object, you can click down and you can pick it up. And then it comes to you, and then with motion sensor you can inspect that object. Close up. So here's the second sun box. And, you know. and then you can release those items as well. So we wanted to make it like a physics kind of you know, playground or something just like this stuff. So, sorry, I do love you. But, um, pizzas as well, so you can you know, recover and like, squash the box. <laughs> and you can chuck sh stuff out of the window like that. So the flicking is really cool. If you flick in and you pick up a basketball, you flick around. And behind you, there's a, there's a basketball, so you can just start you know, playing with it. And that's really, really easy and sort of easy to get to grips with. And it's the kind of stuff that actually, that really works for anyone. And you can start also playing around with like, you know, lights and things like that. So that was the very, very first kind of test for one of the guys in the team, yeah, within the camera range. And one thing that we've added that we couldn't have um, before, uh, we didn't really do when we were working on Playroom, and now we have two cameras that we are tracking, we can do Z as well, so you can actually track depth. So you have a pretty 